The Toronto Maple Leafs back in action here at Scotiabank Arena tonight after spending the last week on the road. Tonight, they're hosting the Winnipeg Jets. Will they be yet again without one of their key players? He's progressing very well. He's going to remain here and, and work through uh, our bye week and all-star uh, break. Uh, so he'll get, he'll remain on the ice. I think the plan or the hope is that once we return, he'll be closer to or ready to join our practices. Goalie Joseph Wall was on the ice today again with the Leafs for their morning skate. He hasn't played a game since December 7th when he went down against the Senators and since then has been listed as week to week. Now the Buds, they're hoping to take their momentum from their win over Seattle on the weekend into their game against the Jets tonight. I think just... Um, and all for complicating things and getting the net. I think uh, they're a team that defends really well and uh, they're definitely a good transition team, so you don't want to feed in that. The Raptors have an unusual break in their schedule right now. Three days off at home between their games. At practice, Jakob Pertl getting in the work, but is still out with an ankle injury, but is expected back soon. He, he did a uh, half court stuff today with the team. Uh, he started running and jumping. He was doing more today. Uh, he's still not cleared for a full contact. And with, with him, we're just going to go day by day. Now, how about this? Coach Darko Ryakovic and his wife Gaga announced they will be donating to children's hospitals in Toronto, Memphis, and Serbia. For every assist recorded by the Raptors, they will donate $20 U.S. This is now all retroactive from when the Raptors season has started. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good cause, we believe, and uh, it's something that we really are passionate about. And uh, we wanted to, uh, to uh, the, you know, collect some uh, uh, resources there. And after practice, the Raptors visited Variety Village and interacted with some of their youngest fans, from Scotty and Yak playing wheelchair basketball to RJ Barrett testing out his volleyball skills. RJ, this is your first appearance as a Raptor for a moment like this. Seeing the joy you bring to some of your youngest fans, what does that do for you? Uh, it's, honestly, it's been amazing. You know, just seeing all the kids happy and, and participating, um, just seeing the excitement when, when we showed up. Uh, been, it means a lot, you know, for us to be able to come back here and just put, put smiles on the kids' faces. And a note about the NHL All-Star Game that's happening right here at Scotiabank Arena next week. Rogers, one of the presenting sponsors of the event. Tate McCray not only announced as one of the celebrity head coaches for the All-Star Game, but she'll be also hosting and performing a special intermission performance during the game. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.